Um, <clears throat> wondering about, I know you've been without them for a few days here, but uh, always trying to monitor a top pick's progress. Where do you feel like Christian's gotten to at this point? Um, he's been getting better. Um, you know, obviously he's missed the last couple of days, but he's been staying engaged, involved in the walkthroughs. But he's been good, you know, since day one, like I talked about earlier. So he's been doing fine. We just got to get him healthy. What maybe are, uh, are things that get emphasized along the way with the young guy like that? Are there things that you harp on? Are there new things that you find along the way to emphasize during a practice? How, maybe how much of, uh, are you harping on the same thing? How much do you find new stuff or is it constantly everything? What's well, constantly evolving is changing every day, just keeping up with the info because we're throwing a lot of different things at these guys. Um, first down, second down, third down, red zone two minutes, just all the different situations and how, to, how we just have to be engaged and being on top of the details of what we're asking these guys to do because all these got games in the NFL come down to basically in the last, you know, quarter, you know, these are tight games and we got to be on top of these um, little details to be um, great in these situations that come up throughout the game. No, you've got a lot of strong personalities. Last one, Kim, uh, in, in that group. Uh, particularly with Byard and, and Vaccaro but, uh, and Malcolm, who's, who's been at the very top. How's, it, how's he fit in personality-wise? Um, Christian, is, he doesn't say much. He fits in. So that, that would be great for rookies just to come in and learn from the vets, don't say much, and just go out and work and put in the time in the meeting rooms and earn the respect of the veterans. And I feel he's doing a good job of doing that, just coming in and doing what's asked of him. Next, Yeah, Anthony, following up on Christian, uh, it seems pretty intentional that he has seen a lot of Humphreys so far in camp, even in some of the individual drills and things like that. How intentional is that? And how valuable is that look, especially if a guy is going to be, you know, in the slot and playing those quick change of direction guys a lot? I feel it's good work for him. Obviously, you know, it's good work. You know, Hump's a really good receiver, very crafty receiver, so give him different looks. So it's good for a young guy to come in and just understanding what he's going to see if he's playing on the inside. But he's been going with guys, Khalif, all those guys matched up on the outside as well, but he hasn't seen a lot of Hump. And it's been good for him just to learn um, when you're going against a veteran receiver that used the craftiness, you know, against you. So it's good for a young guy to see a vet like that and practice every day. Thanks. Luke Bersham. I'm good. Thank you. Teron. Yeah, Coach, I apologize if you were asked already, but I'm just popping in here. Uh, with Christian Fulton, uh, you see him getting a lot more, uh, you know, reps with the first team and just at, at nickel. What is it about him that has – you know, major guys say, well, you know, I think he's capable of handling that. Um, he's come in since the day we drafted him, since we started our first meeting, come in prepared, working hard, just doing the things we asked him to do. And like I told the guys earlier, you know, he doesn't say much, earn the respect of the veterans. But, you know, we mix it in a lot of other guys in there as well. But he has got his share of reps in there, you know, running with those guys. But he's earned the respect of those guys by the way he works and just coming in with his work ethic every day and just um, proving to the vets, vets that he belongs. And how about one-on-ones? Because he's matching up a lot with Adam Humphreys. Is that something that you guys are purposely doing, or is that just kind of by chance how that's happening? Well, it's just kind of happened that way, but I, I feel he's taken on the challenge knowing that, you know, Humps is a really good receiver, so he wants to go up against him and, you know, learn from him. And, and we, go, we come in every day after practice, and that would be the first thing we watch. And we talk about what we see and what can help him get better. But, you know, obviously – you know, you want to play in this league, you got to go against the best. And Hump is, you know, really good receiver in the slot and a good guy for him to battle every day in practice. Kayla? Hey, Coach. Uh, this question is just about Adoree Jackson. I mean, what have you seen from him that you like out of this training camp? I know he's working on really taking it to the next level with his game. Well, I like that he's come in, work every day, come out and practice and compete in his attention and detail and everything we've asked him to do, he's doing it. And we talked about him just being consistent throughout, and I feel he's been doing that through this camp. So he's been doing a good job staying engaged and been really good and meetings, been good with the younger guys and also having a veteran guy like Jonathan Joseph to um, bounce ideas off of has also been beneficial to him as well.
Okay, I've got one here for you, Coach. Uh, obviously, with the lack of preseason games, um, how are you planning to basically fabricate pressure? Like, what are you doing and practices to put guys in situations, you know, to see if they can uh, uh, handle what you need them to handle? Well, obviously, we had the, you know, deal in the stadium last week. But we tell these guys with no preseason games, you're competing in the meeting room, you're competing in walkthroughs, you're competing everything you do, every rep, a rep in individual drills. And no matter what it is, you're, this is how we're evaluating you. And every opportunity you get, you know, you have to take advantage of it because we don't have the um, benefit of seeing these guys go out and play in games. So all the team reps, all the seven on seven, all the one on ones, those are, those are game reps to those guys. And we're just evaluating everything they're doing. And that's, they understand that's the expectation that they got to come out and take advantage of that. And that's how we're evaluating those guys. And I mean, we're not only competing in the field, but we're competing off the field in the meet room as well. Jerron? And if I could kind of stay on uh, Fulton for a second, uh, talking to him after he got drafted, he, he said that one of the things that you guys talked to him about was was playing that nickel spot. And, and it was something that, you know, attracted you guys to him. What was it physically um, that, that, you know, watching film, what was it that you saw to say, hey, you know, I think this guy can be someone that, that could help fill that role for us? Well, when you watch him on tape, you know, he was a very smart guy when I met with him. You watch him on tape, he could play zone, he can play man. Um, he's just a very versatile guy. And that's what we're looking for. A guy not only can play inside, man, but also play outside. And we felt he brought all those things to the table. He's played it early in his career, but later in his career at LSU, he strictly played mostly on the outside. But we felt that he had the skill set and the traits for us that we're looking for as a guy that's versatile, a guy that's smart and can handle everything that we're throwing at that position and with the ability to also um, play on the outside as well. Thank you. Glennon. Hey, uh, Anthony. Um, sorry to come in late. I was on the other screen there for a minute. Um, but um, I know, I think earlier in camp, um, Mike Vrabel said that Dory Jackson was, was a very uh, talented guy who's maybe been able to rely on talent above, you know, other things over the years and that maybe uh, he'd like to see a little bit more attention to detail um, and, and consistency this year. I'm um, wondering if you could talk about, uh, you know, what you've seen so far from a Dury, uh, you know, in, in camp and, and whether you're seeing some of those uh, uh, same things uh, start to improve. And that's one thing we talked about him being consistent, and I felt he's done that this camp, and we talked about the attention to detail. He's playing with better technique. He's playing with a better understanding of what, how the fundamentals going to help him be a better player and not just relying on talent alone because your fundamentals are your blueprint. When things go, go wrong, you can always just go back to the base fundamentals, and that's one thing you know, we're focusing on just not with Adoree but with the entire group. If we just play great fundamental football, we'll be a lot better football team. And that's one thing we're focusing on with Adoree on top of him just being consistent day in and day out. And uh, again, I'm, I'm sure you probably answered this, so I'm sorry, but um, uh, Christian Fulton in the, uh, it looks like he's getting at least some slot uh, opportunities here in, in camp. Uh, how do you think he's fared there? And, and uh, you know, is there a, chance that, uh, that that continues in, in your mind into the regular season? I thought he's done well. And then obviously, you know, we're playing him inside. We're playing him outside with, you know, the same we're doing with some other guys. But every day is, you know, he's learning something new every single day. And, you know, they, some days are better than others. But that's the part of being, you know, with these young guys and these rookies. They didn't have an offseason. They didn't have rookie mini camp. They didn't have OTAs. They just didn't have that. So we're trying our best to get these guys caught up to speed as much as possible. So every opportunity, every rep he takes, whether it's out physically on the practice field or in the walkthrough, is something that we're taking as a game rep for him to learn from. And I think he's doing a good job of doing that, not only just playing inside, but also playing outside. Jim? Hey, Anthony, I'm so, sorry I'm late to the party. You may have just talked about Kristen there, but what, what, what kind of progress have you seen from him since camp started? He's been doing good. I mean, he's been learning every day, going out there, competing, like obviously the guy said before, going against a lot of the time. So going against a veteran savvy receiver in the slot for him to learn from. So he's been doing a good job um, since the beginning of camp, and hopefully we can get him back on the field pretty soon. Cool. I think we are all set. Thank you for the time, I could, Coach. I oh. couldn't get me off mute. Can I, go one, can I go one or two more? Yep, go ahead, Jim. 
a uh, couple other guys, um, Kareem Orr. I mean, it seems like he's been really feisty in camp. I know he's a little neck now, but uh, how has he done? And you, didn't get, you haven't worked with him in the past, but what, what's kind of stood out about him um, since you, in your time with, with him? I mean, he's competitive. He, he comes out there and competes. He, like you said, he's scrappy, and he does what we ask him to do. But he's a guy to go out there and fight and claw. And, you know, you'll hear him on the practice field. You see him, he's talking. So he brings a lot of energy to the group. And one more on Chris Jackson. What, what's, what's kind of been his strong suit in camp so far? I mean, he's come out every day, and he's gotten better. He's been consistent. He's done everything we've asked him to do. And for a young guy, his attention to detail has been great. Um, he's, a, he's been a guy that's been consistent and been doing the things we've asked him to do. He's been having a good camp, and hopefully he can continue that, you know, being a young guy. But we've been really pleased with the camp he's had thus far. How, how much time or how difficult is it? I mean, you want things done your way, and you're dealing with a lot of guys who have done it for many years in the league. What, what's that adjustment like as far as cleaning up technique, teaching them different ideas and ways that you'd like to see it done? Well, I don't think it's been hard because I have a group of guys and, you know, Malcolm, Adore, Jonathan Joseph, Kevin Byard, Kenny, those guys just want to be, they just want to win and they want to be coached. And when you got veteran guys like that, it makes my job easier. But not only do they want to be coached, it's my job as a coach to not just change things just to say, just to be changing. I'll take what they do well and I'll try to tweak some things to enhance their game. But it's been an easy adjustment for me because I have a great group of guys that want to be coached and that, you know, being in the NFL, you don't always get that. But those guys have been awesome to have and it's just been an easy transition coming in because those guys want to be coached and they're taking the coaching. And I've noticed specifically maybe a Dory being even more physical going up against AJ in some of these drills and practices. I mean, is that something you have kind of stressed to him? Do you challenge him on a regular basis there? And how how's he done in that regard as far as just being a more physical player? He's been really good. And we have challenged him, you know, from a consistency standpoint, from a fundamental standpoint, and, you know, being physical. And he's not going to face any more physical guys than you would, in, in, you know, AJ. So – Going up against that guy every day in practice is just going to make us better. And Adori has accepted the challenge, and um, he's battling in one-on-ones and in the team periods. And AJ is just going to make us better because he's one of the top receivers in the league.